What's up guys, Steven, or one, two, two, and it's list day. Ah, yes, list day, and today we're gonna be looking at the top 10 stupidest things about Duel Links. Now, don't get me wrong, I stream Duel Links every Thursday. I actually really do enjoy the mobile game. You know, it's not the guns and bazookas that they're worried about. It's, uh... Those abs? It's his abs. With the world way it is, and how annoying uh, remote dueling is, with all the setup you gotta have, and a bunch of webcams, and a bunch of hooey like that, it's nice that I can just pull my phone out and play some Yugi Mans. However, just because we enjoy a thing doesn't mean we can't bitch about it like a bunch of entitled jerks. Obviously, most of the things I'm gonna be complaining about can be pretty much boiled down to they are the way they are because money. Because as with any other mobile game, if it wasn't a pain in the ass to play for free, uh, then no one would no one would throw real money at it. But with all that aside, these are the 10 things I can't stand about the game that I'd like to see fixed if quality of life was the, was the only thing we cared about. Sure. Number 10, the AI duelists. The standard duelists that you need to grind against, uh, suck. <laughs> They play the decks that, like, they are given pretty well, but when you let the game autopilot your own deck, it it makes comical misplays. Passing up obvious plays to make really convoluted ones to ultimately most of the time still end up winning just in the strangest way possible. If you ever want to get a lesson on how to not play your own deck, let the let the auto duel take it. Aside from it playing your own deck pretty poorly, uh, like I said, the, the 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 standard duelists and even like the gate duelists and stuff, they're just they're just not good at the game. That they, they they are easily exploitable, and frankly, it, it just you know it gets old after a while. They are literally there just to grind XP, and we all know that. Number nine is the fact that we don't have dream tickets for commons and rares. The dream ticket system in Duel Links is the perfect way to let the free-to-play players get access to cool staples. Every couple of months, like or at least once a year, uh, they give us a dream ticket, which is a, a thing we can exchange for pretty much any card in the game, including cards that you would normally pull out of a booster box. It's a dream ticket. You get your dream card out of it. Or Axe Raider. That's terrible. But it's only like ever supers and, and ultra rares. We can't get commons and rares. I can't tell you how many times I've been trying to build a deck for stream and I need a random rare out of a random set. You thought trying to pull a, a, an ultra rare out of a set is annoying? Try pulling a rare out of a set. It's not even that particularly good. <laughs> But you need it anyway for some reason? What a pain in the butt. There is no reason why we can't get uh, a couple rare and normal dream tickets every once in a while so that we can grab that one-off twin sword thing that lets me attack twice that I just didn't have for some reason. It's just weird that the higher rarity cards are the ones we have more access to. Number eight is gold is a useless resource. And by an extension, uh, there's just too many resources in the game. We have we have jewels for spells and jewels for traps and jewels for every attribute and jewels for the rarity level of the card. We got the the skill chips. We got gems. We got gold. There's and then all that other hooey that helps you with duels. Like there is just oh, and those stupid keys. I have t I literally have ten thousand or more of every key because I just. What? There is too many resources in this game. It's obnoxious. And gold is probably the biggest offender because it's it's really only for buying cards, but which you use the other resources for as well. So everything in the game costs like two monies when they could just cost one kind of money. Like why is the gold there when I have to spend rare gems to get a rare card? Why don't I just spell the rare gems? Why do I need a gold and that? It, it makes no sense. But in general, you, you you get way too much of it in every single event. You always have a million of it lying around and you don't even use it. It's 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 a joke at this point. Number seven is we can't trade cards. Now for the educated Duel Links player, you'll say, well, we have a person who's literally called the card trader, uh, Dave. Actually, wait. But Dave, we have a thing called the card trader. <laughs> yeah, we do, but you don't trade cards. You just buy cards from him. And the only thing you can do with extra copies of cards that you don't want, you can just break them down into their base components and then buy cards with them. And this all really begs the question, why can't I just trade cards I don't want with another actual player and we don't even have to do like all cards like everyone only gets one alternate white dragon and you you can't trade your alternate white dragon but uh lo and behold it's a digital game you can code whatever the hell you want frankly so uh that little card has a checkbox that says it can't be traded it's hacking time 
and like event exclusives or level ups or things that were only ever intended to have like one or two copies of, you can't trade those, but why can't we trade cards you pull out of a booster box? Presumably, if I throw enough money at the game, I could have three copies of a thing, so why can't I trade them? I mean, that's your reason, because they want me to throw a bunch of money at packs. Assuming they did it, it'd be cool if we could trade our box rares. Number six is alternate formats are stuck to events. Now, I probably would never personally play turbo duels or tag duels or whatever outside of, a, of an event I'm being forced to do it, but I am sure there is players out there that would love to have a tag duel once in a while. What the fuck is this? This is not even real Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm not entirely sure why this is the way it is. Like, it, it would, you would think that you could just go to, like, start a, a duel room and make it tag duels, and that's just it. I'm, unless I'm wildly misunderstanding about the menu system, which is, you know, frankly possible. Fucking idiot. I'm pretty sure the only way you can do these alternate formats is play them in events. Granted, most of the time they have like event specific skills, like the raid duels and things like that. So like, I'm not exactly sure how one would make the alternate formats more standard because they seem to be used whatever skill or your dual rider thing or whatever it is is specific to the event itself and it's a gimmick for the event. They might have to make some generic ones or something. It would it would be some work, but it is just very strange that they, they don't just exist in some fashion at will for the player. Number five is a bit of a continuation of the ideas from uh, from the gold entry. Five too much gold is that we have max limits on like all of our items, whether it's those uh, those crystals that give you like EXP boosts or extra cards or things like that at like the start of an AI duel, the skill chips, which uh, that one really drives me nuts or just any other item you are trying to hoard because you, maybe you just don't want to use them right now, it forces you to use them because you hit some sort of s absurdly random upper limit. I'm assuming uh, they just don't want us to have a ton of stuff because uh, I guess if you just have like infinite amount of items, that means that like that variable can just float into infinity and maybe they don't want us to do that to like, I don't know, if it's, like a, it's like a coding thing maybe, I don't know. It's just annoying that like things are set arbitrarily low, like because whether I let the thing go to the garbage or I spend it and then immediately get the one that's in the hopper, I, I've still I've gained nothing. And the skill chips, what the fuck? Why only 300? Number four is a bit of a continuation of, uh, what was it, 10? Why can't I auto-duel at the gate? They're just an AI opponent. Why can't I auto-duel them? Remember when I told you that I had like 10,000 of each color key? The reason why I do is because I don't want to be bothered to actually have to play out a duel against one of the opponents. If I'm going to do that, I'd rather go into PvP and just play against a real person if I'm trying to unlock a skill or something like that. Like, I don't want to grind against an AI player and actually play the game. I... I... I promise you, I do not. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. For event gates where it turns red and you gotta go fight Kite Tenjo or something like that, fine, make me play the damn thing. Turn off the auto duel for that. But for like just the general gate, let me auto duel it. Come on, I'm not even sure if money's even the reason why we can't do that, cause, cause what does it matter? Just let me auto duel. This one, this one is a hill I will die on ab above all of the other ones. I hate that. Number three is card texts not being updated. Things like Hollow Life Barrier and our buddy here, Penguin Knight, probably haven't gotten a reprint in some time, so it makes sense in the TCG for them to like, you know, s still save whatever old wonky text they have, but being released in a digital format means they can literally just update the card text anytime they want, so, uh, what a great opportunity to fix some of the old cards. Cause yeah, so it's in Duel Links that way and it's in the card database that way. So we all now know what cards are supposed to say. I assure you there's more Duel Links players than TCG players. And I'm sure they almost all entirely overlap. So if it says a thing in Duel Links, I'm, I'm positive every single TCG player will also understand it. So it seems to be a pretty good way to disseminate information to the player base in a digital format to their phone. So we can update Penguin Knight now for Pete's sake. Unite the cards in your graveyard with your deck? What does that even mean? Unite them. Yeah, I just... Just like, just like that. There's really no excuse for these old cards to say this anymore now that they are completely in a digital format. Number two. Remember when I said the, the, the gate duel thing was the thing I would die on? Close second is this. The game timer. 
The game timer in Duel Links freaking sucks. It's incredibly disrespectful. Half the time your opponent has a bad connection and for some reason it's counting down your half of the turn even though you can't do anything. So what the freak's going on? Or maybe you're just trying to read your cards because you're, you're trying to figure something out. Maybe I need to read my opponent's cards because he's playing something janky and weird and I've never seen it before and I wanna know what the hell I'm doing and supposed to just attack into Power of the Guardians because I don't have time to read it. The game timer's too short and it doesn't reset every time you make a play. So as long as you're moving, as long as you're doing a thing, the timer shouldn't be going down because you're just rushing your players for no reason. I know that it's a mobile game and we're all supposed to just like play this thing while we're like taking a crap or whatever, but if I'm playing PvP, I, I, I want to be able to read my opponent's cards. I actually care because it's PvP. The game timer should reset if you're making plays. I, I'll stick by that one. We do have a dishonorable mention for this list. It's the booed players. Yeah, I know you blue eyes white dragon players out there. Every single one million bajillion of you. Everyone hates you. Stop playing that stupid deck. I can't stand it. How many times are you gonna summon dragon spirit of white or set your stupid white testicle fucking thing? I'm sick of seeing blue eyes white dragon. And half of you guys freaking suck at it. If you're gonna play it, at least be good. Just don't set maiden and pass, you idiots. It's an angry video. <laughs> I've been booted one too many times. We also have a sponsor for this video. Today's sponsor is your playmat. Use my code davidnader 12210 yp and you can get a couple percent off of your order. A particular item I like to feature on my channel is the custom card sleeves. It's not a thing I've, I've seen anywhere else. It's just, that's just really cool and novel. I really love these things. And number one, the stupidest thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is that stupid commercial with that jackass and the Dark Magician. <laughs> like seriously, who wrote this? Declare direct attack. Ah, you got me. Told you I was the master. GG. GG. We all make fun of it because like, uh, unless there's a convoluted board state, the guy just slaps Dark Magician down for no reason, like seemingly in the battle phase, wins with it. Kinda, I guess. And if you look at the freaking table, they're playing with like the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side of Dimensions movie packs or something. Like I think this jackass has got Magician of Black Chaos on board. Like what what is even going on here? And like, in insult to injury, I'm pretty sure like the dude they got for this was like a, a, a Pokemon TCG player. Like he's like a card game guy, but for an entirely different game. And last time I checked, there's, there's a pretty robust community of people who go on YouTube and talk about Yu-Gi-Oh that they could have pulled from. Just saying, you know, there's a couple of people out there. Could you imagine seeing Alex Simo in that commercial? <laughs> Told you I was the master. GG. GG. I would pay to see that. All right, guys, that was the list. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if there's other stuff about the game that you dislike, because uh, it's like the most popular Yu-Gi-Oh game like ever created, but it's it's not perfect. So let me know what you guys think. And remember, guys, if you don't troll the matter who will, I'll see you guys next time. Just a quick special thank you to all my supporters over on Patreon. You guys make the whole channel possible. You guys have no idea how much it means to me that you guys do that. If you guys want to be part of the Goblet Attack Force, link for the Patreon down in the description below. No time left in the video, I summon Dark Magician, declare direct attack. Subscribe for vids, told you I was the master.